Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Guess what? We're going to do some writing about bridges again. Again? Oh, put your hands up if you're getting a little bit bored about writing about bridges. Yeah, I am too. So I looked at the planning and I thought, I can think of something more fun to do. So well done on yesterday's instruction writing, but today we're going to do something completely different. For today's lesson, you're going to need maybe two pieces of paper, some colouring pencils, a writing pencil, and your phonium mats from your learning packs. And if you haven't had a chance to pick up your learning pack from school yet, please do. It's got new reading books and everything in it, so it'll be really helpful for you with your home learning. Okay, right, you go get the things that you need, and I'm going to share my screen. I'll see you in a minute. Can you see it? Lovely, I hope you can see it. Now, I know that we start every writing lesson by practicing the sounds that we know that Mrs. Golding's got that Friday feeling and Mrs. Golding wants to do something a bit differently. So we're going to leave it and come back to it in a minute, okay? Now, I was thinking about bridges and you know what? Your designs and your things, your writing have really inspired me. And I thought, what's worse? than a boring old bridge. Why not try and make a really exciting one? So today we are going to be drawing, talking and writing about the weirdest, wonderfulest and wackiest bridges that we can come up with in the whole wide world. Okay? So the first thing that we need to do is to draw a picture of the weirdest and wonderfulest and wackiest bridge that we can think of in the entire world. It's a bit hard to imagine something if you've not got any ideas. So let's have a look at some ideas about weird and wonderful bridges to see if we can think use some of them in our own designs. Let's have a look, shall we? <gasps> look at this bridge. Wow. My bridge is wobbly. It is red. It is really long. It has, oh, I think it has people on it. What a fabulous bridge. I might steal the idea of making a bridge wobbly for my own, of my own bridge later. Let's have a look at another one. Whoa, it is gray. It goes round and round. My bridge has cars on it. My bridge has lots and lots of cars in it on it, sorry. <gasps> oh my, it is a rainbow bridge. My bridge is made out of bricks. Goodness, look at that one, how funny. Oh my, this bridge, my bridge has a house on top. It has a roof. It is made out of wood. Goodness gracious me, I don't know that I'd like to live there. I'd be a bit worried, wouldn't you? I'd be a bit worried if there was a troll underneath my house. Let's have a look at the last one. <gasps> wow. My bridge is made out of ice. It is really cold. Goodness gracious me. What a lot of amazing ideas about bridges. So many things that we could use, so many ideas that we could use in our own pictures. Now, what I would like you to do is I would like you to have a go at designing your very own weird, wonderful and wacky bridge, okay? I would like you to think before you start drawing and talk to your grown up. What colors are you going to use? What material is it going to be built out of? It's gonna be made out of bricks, it's gonna be made out of ice, you know, you made out of wood. What's going to go on top? Is it going to be wobbly, long, tall, really skinny, really short? Is it going to be a teeny tiny bridge just for ants? Think about what your bridge is going to look like and then do a really careful detailed drawing. Take your time and if you need to change some of your ideas along the way, change them. Do you think you can have a go at that? 
Okay. Can you draw a picture of your bridge? Can you pause the video? And we'll carry on once you've finished your picture. Okay, pause the video. Are you finished? Have you done something weird and wonderful and wacky? I hope so. Right then, now it's time for us to do some writing about our bridge. We're going to write some short sentences to describe what your bridge looks like, okay? We're going to use sentence stems in our writing, okay? Sentence stems are where we provide the start of a sentence for a child and they can finish it. And it encourages children to write in sentences rather than just writing single words on their own. It's also a really useful tool for encouraging them to speak in longer sentences rather than just pointing at their picture and saying, red, we're gonna encourage them to say, my bridge is red. Rather than just saying cars, encouraging them to say it has cars on top, okay? So, what you might want to do is pause the video and have a little practice now at speaking about your bridge with these sentence stems. So you might want to re-pause the video now and practice completing these sentence stems. Maybe you could have a turn and then your child could have a turn. And you could have a turn and your child could have a turn, okay? It's all about building up that talk for writing. Pause the video and have a go. Lovely. Do you have lots of ideas in your head for sentences already? Perfect. Well, it's time for us to have a go at writing them then. This is the writing part of the lesson, isn't it? And if it's the writing part of the lesson, then my goodness gracious me, we had better practice some of those sounds that we know, hadn't we? So, can you have a go at going through your phoneme maps? Can you tell your parent all of the sounds on the screen? You can pause if you want to. Did you find b? Did you find b? Did you find m? Lovely. What about these sounds? Can you pause the video and have a go through these sounds, remembering to stop here? Lovely. Did you find th for thumb? Did you find qu for queen? Perfect, well done. Today's writing is a little bit tricky in that it contains a tricky word or two. Should we have a look at them together? Maybe you can make a note of these on your paper to refer back to later. The first tricky word that we have is my, 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 M-Y spells my, M-Y spells my, 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 my sausages, my shoes, my bag, my toys, M-Y spells my, 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 my. Do you like to have a go at writing that? Do you think you can? Okay, can you copy it onto your page? My, have a good look at it and copy it. M Y spells my. Did you get it? Okay, you ready? Can you take a picture? Can you have a go at writing the word my from memory? Make sure you cover up that one you'd already written. Can you remember what my looks like? Can you remember the rhyme? Did you get it? Let's see if you were right. Well done. The next word, hmm. I wonder if you can read that word. You've seen it a lot this week. Do you know what it says? sound does it start with? Think about what we've been learning about. Can you make a clever guess? That's right, it's the word bridge. That's a bit hard for us to spell, isn't it? With the word bridge, we can break it up. So the parts that we could have a good go at, let me get my little pen, the part that we could have a good go at, and the part that it just goes a bit wibbly wobbly a bit weird 
<laughs> when it comes to spelling, okay? Bridge, it's a word of two parts, shall we say. <laughs> when I'm writing the word bridge, I could have a really good go at the first part of it by sounding it out. But I think we're all gonna need a bit of help to remember the last part of the word is spelt with these letters, D, G, E. Mums and dads, when your child is writing this word, please encourage them to sound out that first part of the word. It's often very difficult for them to get this sound. So they'll be able to get the b, but they might not hear the r, okay? And that's something that we work on later in the year. So they might be able to say b, e, and then with the j, well, they know the j sound. So it wouldn't surprise me if I was writing with children at school to look down and see this written down to represent the word bridge or occasionally some of the children putting that er in or even just the b and the j when writing the word bridge, okay? So any of these spellings is really acceptable and shows a really, really good try, okay? But it's up to you. If you want to encourage that spelling of DGE because they can remember it because they've seen that word lots of times this week, then great. But if your child's working at this level, that's also fine too, okay? Are we ready then? So you've got lots of ideas to complete these sentence stems. You've spoken about them to your parents and carers, haven't you? So now it's time for us to write some of our answers and our endings to these sentence stems. And you know that we don't want to just write the word red by itself. We want to have a go at writing the whole sentence, don't we? Mm -hmm. Maybe not everybody, maybe some children may just be writing the word red at the end and you make that decision about where your child is at, whether you provide them with the sentence stem and they fill in the word at the end or whether you encourage them to write the whole sentence. It's completely up to you, okay? Now, I'm not going to Twitter on much longer, I promise. I just want to say that this is a chance for you to do a piece of writing yourselves and to encourage your child to use the phony mats and the sounding out that we've practiced in previous lessons, okay? I don't know what your bridge looks like, so it's really tricky for me to help you with sounding out some of those words. So I wonder if you could impress your parents and carers with what you can do by yourselves. Do you think you can? And mums and dads, I'd really like to see what they can do by themselves. And that way I can provide you with some feedback and some next steps to help them move their writing forwards. Okay? Do not worry about sending me pictures of work that they've done themselves. I've seen it all. Trust me. Okay? So, can you write some sentences or write some words about your bridge? I look forward to seeing what you get up to yourselves. Okay? Bye, everyone. Good luck, have fun.